In this video, I'm going to show you very quickly, I hope, how to do a rank cases in SPSS and then how to use the new variable from ranked cases to compare in analyses like in ANOVA or regressions. Here's how you do it. First of all, let's say you want to do something like compare old folk and young folk in a regression or ANOVA, but all you have is this continuous variable. Here's what you could do to fix that. You could go to transform rank cases and select age, there it is, select age as your ranked variable. Rank types, this will be checked, you can go ahead and uncheck rank, and end tiles will be defaulted to four. But if you just want to split it in half based on the median, select two. If you do want quartiles, select four. You can do any number you want here and it'll split it into that many even groups. I'm going to do two so I'll get old and young folk. I'm going to hit continue. No other options need to be clicked on and just hit OK. What this will do is create a new variable at the end of your data set based on that age. Notice I get a one for the young people and as I scroll down here, I've already sorted this, I get twos for the less young people. And if I go back to the original age column, I can notice that we're split on 32. That is, oh, no, I guess we're split in other places if I a sort of sending here. And then I go back to age and, or n age, the new ranked variable over here, and see where the two starts. Here's the two. And it looks like we split on age 28. 27 year olds are young, 28 year olds are not young. Now, if you wanted to separate this out and have three even groups and then just not use the middle group so you had clear distinction between old and young people, you could also do that. Just select three tiles instead of two tiles. All right. Now, if you want to label these, I highly recommend it. Here is that variable, that new variable, n age. I'm going to provide value labels. So for us, one was young and two was old. Okay, and now we can do some cool analyses. First, let's do a split file, which is here, data split file. And what we can do is we can take an age, throw it in here, and do a compare groups based on an age. Hit OK. And now let's go do a regression or something. Um, here's analyze regression. You just do a normal regression, linear, and let's do something like this. I already have one built in, satisfaction with work and burnout from management, and we'll just run it like a regular regression. I haven't selected any fancy options, just a normal regression. Hit OK, and what this does is it runs the regression in comparison mode, so you have group 1 and group 2, young and old. And we can see the R squares are not terribly different for young and old, but we can see that the effects are significant for both. And here are those effects. And these are different. Notice, for example, BM2, not significantly impacting um, satisfaction with work for young folks. Here's the p value, but it is significantly impacting. Here's BM2, satisfaction with work. For old people, burnout items affect satisfaction with work differently for old and young people. Pretty cool. Now, one other thing you can do with this is do a compare means test, like a t test or, or a, an ANOVA. In order to do that, though, you need to unsplit the data first. So go back and split file and reset. Very important step. And hit OK. Then you can go run an ANOVA or something like that. One way ANOVA, let's compare some stuff, and our, we'll use a factoring variable, and that factoring variable is that new n age variable. And I'm going to hit OK and see what we get. First off, it gives us some descriptives. We can see that the mean for income is different, um, and years in job is different for old and for young people. We can see the significance of those differences. Let me go up here. Looks like for income, there is a significant difference between young and old people. Same with these guys, but not for these last two items. And we can see in a means plot, if you check tab a means plot, 
what those differences are, how large the differences are. And it turns out young people have less, what is this, years on the job, less income for young people, and less satisfaction for young people. And that's how you use a rank cases and split file uh, analysis in SPSS. I hope that was helpful.